Hi everyone. Now we will learn how we can build layout using template inheritance. In one of the recent part, we learned how we can build layout using components also. So if you haven't watched that part, I'll suggest you to watch that because there we will also learn lots of things about layout and link is given in the description box as well as in the playlist. So for this part, first of all, we will make a layout file. After that, we'll put some common code in this layout file. Then we'll pass data dynamically from pages to uh, layout and layout to pages and then we'll see how we can use common style and bootstrap with the help of layout and at last we'll discuss some important interview question also. This is the playlist for Laravel 11 tutorials and that will definitely help you out for Laravel interview job and uh, project. You can access this playlist from description box of this part. So first let's go to the code and make a layout file. So a layout file is just nothing this is just a simple blade template or if you want then you can simply create a view from the terminal also so let me create php artisan make view and that view file name will be layout it's not mandatory like you have to put only layout name only you can put any name to this and if you want you can use folder also for this maybe uh, for example you can create a template folder and inside this you can create layout.blade.php or something and then hit enter and now you can see that we have a blade layout.blade.php so what we want to achieve there so let me show you so for now we have two screens first one is home so for that we have to run this server again yeah so first one is home and second one is login in both of these files we have this simple common header as well as simple common footer also so what do we want to do now so we want to use the layout so that we can use common code for this header as well as for footer right now how this is written here you can see that this is our home.blade.php we have separately written its css these headers as well as this footer and same for login we have separately written this style then this simple header and this footer also so with the help of layout file we will make it common so now what we'll do uh, we'll just use this layout.blade.php for common code so what I'll do there I'll just write some basic code uh, head body and HTML tag and I'm removing these extra tags right these are not required and for title I'm just putting there common title for now right something like this and now you will find that there is nothing difference in login and home page everything is working fine so the next thing that you need to do you have to import this layout blade.php file inside the login so let me just remove all of its code for both of files and i will you will feel we have nothing in all of these uh, uh, both files so the next thing that we need to do we have to extend it so in the home page just put there at the rate extends and our uh, layout file name which is layout only right and let's say you are using a folder uh, and folder name is template then you can simply put their folder name dot template uh, folder name dot layout so that will be let's say template dot layout if you have the uh, folder name is template and then still working fine and now you can see that we got this common title but we have nothing to display inside our uh, page because layout.blade.template is completely empty right so the next thing that we can do uh, you can simply create a header so let me just create a div then ul then li and we can create some tags let me just create their home then about and then contact or maybe login or something right so if you just come there you will find okay still uh, nothing is visible reason being we imported this layout.blade.php only inside the home not in the login so let me import in the login also and now in home as well as in login you can see these menus all right so after that what we can do so maybe you want to create a footer also right so after this let's create a div and uh, you can use a class there the name of footer and then just use a p tag and simply put this is a footer or something right 
if you can refresh it but this is not visible at the last so what you can do there you can just apply some CSS uh, maybe for uh, you can say that position absolute bottom zero text line center background color maybe sky blue with 100% padding 10 pixel or something right so just copy it and paste it inside the style so let me create one style tag also style and inside this let's use their dot footer and then p class and use like this yeah and now you will find that this is perfectly working fine for the both of screens right so header and footer is ready this the uh, common code is perfectly working there but now in the login file i want to put some login form also like that how we can do that so for that what you simply can do uh, you can create a section and okay so before that why we don't put the header there uh, that title there right so for that uh, you have to use a directory with the name of section so let me use their section right this is a sec uh, directory which pass the data from the pages to the layout so there it it has two parameter first one its name which is title we'll put second one the title what data we want to pass so here you can see that this is login page or something right and similarly whenever you want to use it what you need to do in the layout page remove this static text and simply put at the rate yield and inside this let's pass their title and now if you refresh this because this is a home page right so this is the uh, login page and here you can see that this is uh, title is visible there so if i just copy this from here to the home page and change this text let's say this is home page then it will definitely will be visible on the home page now you can see that all right so the next thing is i want to display there a form then how i can uh, do that so get uh, go to the login page and uh, then simply create a section so let me create a section like this at the rate section right and section name because section you can use in the two ways first one maybe this is kind of inline section where we are not passing any html tags or something and there is a second one where you want to pass actually uh, the ui elements like input field or uh, html things right so for that you can just close it at the rate section like this all right and actually this will be the end section of the section and now inside this let me put their h1 tag and their class maybe main and inside this let's put their h1 tag again you can say that login user login or something user login okay so after this user login we can maybe put their uh, some form or something get or post whatever you want to use then some input fields then you can put their place holder will be let's say enter name then we can use some br tags to maintain some space right and then you can say that enter password and at last we can take a button also login like this so still if you refresh this nothing is, is is visible there reason being because see we just put this uh main section there but we have to import it inside the main file which is the layout.blade.php so there uh let me create one more div there and inside this we can use their at the rate section section name which is main and then you have to use their show directory and this will show the directory like this all right so now let's say you want to display uh, some similar kind of thing from the home page also so then you can use it and we don't want to show their form we just want to show some other text maybe h3 and we can mention their sub heading for home 
home page and there we can mention user home page and uh, yeah that's all right then if you just go to the home page you will still find we got this text right but this is coming uh, before this heading things so how we can fix it yeah actually forgot one thing we just forget to start there this main section right so let me start this main section and end this main section also and now it should be visible properly right so this is how we can pass the common component also so now let's say if in the main section you want to you have some data maybe just um, h5 tag something this is common part then if you just refresh this is also not visible how we can display it? then there in the main section you can simply use parent parent directory and now you'll see this is visible there all right so we learned that how we can pass data from home page to blade uh, home page to layout and layout to home so the next thing is how we can use some common css so let's say we have a common main class in both of these pages right so i want to show this content in the center right so what i can do there in the layout i'll just use their dot main text align center then margin maybe 100 pixel or something and then if we refresh then you can see that this is perfectly in the center right so now we learned that how we can use a common style but in the case of bootstrap so let's say we have bootstrap 5 cdn and we want to use it so there is a simple way just copy this css uh, link and put it in the main file like this and then for bootstrap uh, uh, then for uh, js file also and now if you refresh these pages you will find that the text and things are little bit changed and let's say you want to use any component also maybe you want to use the buttons right then let's copy this all of this block and display all of these blocks at the home page so just put it inside the main section only and there we go we have all of these buttons and now you want to use single button in the login with this simple just plain login button and write there login and you'll see this is perfectly working fine so this is the way that how we can um, build the layout using template inheritance still have any question doubt you can ask me in the comment section please like this video share your feedback in comment section and uh, subscribe my channel this is my paytm number for donation thanks guys